Hello, my friend. Thank you for joining me for class today. Today, we're going to do a special kind of flow. In this flow, we aren't going to do any inversions. What are inversions, you might ask? An inversion is any time our head dips below our hips. Things that you might not even realize are inversions, like child's pose or forward fold, downward dog. Sometimes we tend to think of inversions more like handstands, headstands, shoulder stand, but actually any time your head is below your hips, you're doing an inversion. And we do tons of inverting in yoga. Almost our entire sun salutation sequence requires you to drop your head below your hips. Now, if you're feeling good and normal times, that's really not a problem. Currently, I have a student who just had cataract surgery. And because of that cataract surgery, she is not allowed to do any inverting because that inverting creates pressure to the head. And that pressure to the head is not good when you're trying to heal from eyeball surgery. So this flow is specifically for her. However, we've decided to open it up to let everybody play because it's honestly really fun to try something new and to maybe use your brain in a new way to find a yoga flow that just feels a little different for today. So I invite you to try this no inversions yoga flow and see what you think. Let's get started in supine butterfly. Come to lie down on your back. Bring the soles of your feet to touch and let your knees fall open wide. Place both of your hands on your belly. And begin to breathe in and out of your nose. developing an awareness and a rapport with your breath. And for this first moment of your practice, just notice how you feel. Move the air in and out of your nose. Lengthen your legs forward, reach your arms over your head and take a big full body stretch. Reach from fingers to toes. Pull your knees to your chest, put one hand on each knee and just take some circles with your knees in one direction. And when it feels good, you'll switch to the other direction. All the while continuing to breathe in and out of your nose. Open your arms into a T. Drop your knees to the right. Turn your gaze to the left. And just notice how this simple twist feels in your spine. It's still early in the practice. So it doesn't have to be your deepest twist. And gently bring your knees back to center. Take your knees to the left and turn your gaze to the right. Continue to breathe in and out of your nose. Gently bring your knees back to the center. Catch your thighs. Come on up to a seat. Put your feet on the floor right in front of you. Take hold of your hips, I'm sorry, your knees, and then lift your chest up. Now take your right foot off the floor and flex your foot. Put that foot down. 
Pick your left foot up off the floor. Put that foot down. Now pick your right foot up again and try to pick your left foot up at the same time. Boat pose. We're here for five, four, three. Lift your heart a little higher for two and one. Put your feet back down. Make your way to your knees. And then all fours for a tabletop position. And begin to move your spine through some rounds of cat-cow. I like to close my eyes during cat-cow and just allow these movements to be natural and creative. Move your hips from side to side. You can circle your neck and your tailbone, anything that feels good to you. Come back to a neutral tabletop position. Stretch your right leg behind you. Put the ball of your foot on the floor and just start to bounce forward and back a little bit. We're just waking up the back of the right leg. Now roll onto your left knee, ground your right foot and peel your right hand off the floor. Look up at your top fingers. Take a big breath in and a breath out. And put your right hand back on the floor. Pull your right knee back into center. Take one round of cat-cow to reset. Come back to a neutral tabletop. This time, send your left leg behind you. Start with the ball of your foot on the floor and just bounce back and forth. We're just making a little bit of sensation in the back of that leg to wake it up. Now roll onto your right knee, ground your left foot to the floor Peel your left fingertips to the ceiling and look up at your fingers. And gently breathe in and out of your nose. One more big breath. Stay for the exhale and put your hand back on the floor. Pull your left knee back in. Take your knees hip width apart and come to stand on your knees. Put your hands on your low back. We'll take camel pose. Start by taking a full breath in through your nose and then gently press your hips forward. Peel your elbows behind you and lift your chest up to the ceiling. If you can, look up at the ceiling and just breathe. And slowly come back up to neutral. Have a seat on your heels. Put your hands into your lap. Close your eyes for a moment. Take a big breath in and a full breath out. Come up to standing on your knees. Reach your arms up over your head. Palms touch at the center of your chest. Two more times. One more, big breath in, sweep up. Palms touch at the center of your chest. Tuck your toes underneath your heels. You can look at how I have my toes underneath my heels. My heels are pointing up towards the ceiling. Bring your hands to touch at the center of your chest 
and then just gently begin to sit on your heels. Now this is going to bring about a big sensation in your toes, but this is really good for your feet and opening up all of those muscles and bones in your feet. So just follow that sensation, breathe in and out of your nose and extend both of your arms forward with your palms facing each other. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Reach your arms up over your head. Take your arms out to the sides, hands to center, palms touch at the center of your chest. This time reach your arms up, arms out to the sides, hands back to center, palms touch at the center of your chest. Put your hands on the floor. Put the tops of your feet on the floor and just make some thunder with the tops of your feet. That's a very sensational pose. Come back up to standing on your knees. Step your right foot forward. Keep your hands on your hips. Your left knee is on the floor. Set your eyes forward to something you can see. Now stack both of your hands on top of your right thigh and just gently nudge your knee forward. Keep your right hand on top of your right thigh, stretch your left arm to the sky, and look up at your left thumb. Grab yourself a block, Put that block on the tallest setting, right inside of your right foot. Put your left hand on that block with your palm on the block. Look over your right shoulder. Stretch your right arm to the sky. Look up at your right fingers. Take a big breath in. And a full breath out. Put your right hand on your knee and press yourself up, warrior two. Sweep open and ground. Your back foot is lined up with the heel of your front, lined up with your front heel. Stretch fingertip to fingertip and keep a bend in your front knee. Reverse your warrior, take your right arm up to the sky, look up at your fingers. Take a big breath in. Put your hands back on the floor, come down to your knees. Camel pose, put your hands on your hips, take a breath in to lift your chest up and gently press your hips forward, open your chest to the ceiling. Slowly inhale back up. And this time, step your left foot forward. Now we're in a low lunge on the other side. Your left knee is bent, your right knee is on the floor. Start with both of your hands on your hips. Look forward. And now stack both of your hands on top of your left thigh and just gently nudge your knee forward to create an opening in the right side hip. Keep your left hand on top of your left thigh Reach your right arm up to the ceiling. Look up at your right thumb. Take a big breath in. Grab your block. Put it on the tallest setting inside of your left foot. Put your right hand on the block, palm facing down. And just Gently look over your left shoulder, up towards the sky. Peel your left hand up.
Take a big breath in and out. Warrior two, put your hand on your thigh, press yourself up, sweep your back foot open, stretch fingertip to fingertip. Notice the bend in my front knee. Set your eyes forward. Reverse your warrior, take your left hand up, stretch your fingertips to the ceiling. Take a big breath in and out. Make your way back to your knees, camel pose. Hands come to your low back, take a big breath and gently press your hips forward, open up your chest. Slowly come back up. Step your right foot forward. This time we'll come into high crescent lunge. Tuck your back toes underneath your heel. You could put your hands on your thigh to help yourself up. Press down and rise up. Reach your arms up over your head. Set your eyes, relax your shoulders. We're moving into chair pose. Take a big breath in. Step your back foot forward. Bend both knees this time, sink low. Notice that my head is still higher than my hips. Remember the purpose of this flow is to keep our head up, no inversions. All right, now try this. Hover your right foot off the floor, just about two inches. Step your foot back, high crescent lunge. Now we're on the other side. Left knee is bent, back heel stacked over the ball of your foot. Big breath in, slowly lower down to your right knee, hands to your heart. Make your way back to your knees for camel pose. Catch your hips, take a big breath in, lift up, and gently press your hips back. Open your chest up and breathe. Slowly come back up. This time, step your left foot forward. We'll do it on the other side. You can put both of your hands on top of your thigh to help yourself up. Press up, high crescent lunge. Arms up over your head. Set your eyes forward, relax your shoulders. We're coming into chair pose. Take a big breath in. Step forward into chair. Bend both knees, get your booty low. Chest lifts up. Take a big breath in. Get a little bit lower. Now just hover your left foot off the mat, just by two inches. We're just playing a little bit with balance. Step your foot back, high crescent lunge. We made it to the other side. Gaze forward. Big breath in. Hands to your heart, lower down to your knee. Make your way to both knees. We'll take camel pose. Take a big breath in. Shift your hips forward and open up your chest. Slowly come back up. Nice work. All right, step your right foot forward again. We'll come back to that low lunge on our knee. This time we're coming into warrior one. So press down. And this time ground your back foot to the floor. The difference between warrior one and high crescent lunge 
is that our whole back foot is planted. So bend that front knee, reach your arms up. Try this, interlace your hands behind your back, make a clasp with your hands, stretch your knuckles down towards the floor, lift your chin and your chest up towards the ceiling. Big breath in and out. Reach your arms back up over your head. Warrior two. Sweep that back foot open. Take a bit of a wider stance. Fingertip to fingertip. Stretch long. Reverse your warrior. Reach up and back. Take a big breath in. Put your hands down. I like to put the blocks under my hands. Come back to your knees. We'll take camel pose. Hands to your low back. Full breath in. And gently shift your hips forward, open up your chest. Slowly come back up. Step your left foot forward. Rise up, we're coming into warrior one. Press down, ground your back foot. Arms reach up over your head. Keep that back foot grounded, pressed firmly into the earth. Take a big breath in. Interlace your hands behind your back. Make your clasp. Stretch your knuckles down. Lift your chin and your chest up. Warrior one, come back up, arms reach over your head. Warrior two, step that back foot open, maybe a longer stance. Stretch your fingers front to back, gaze forward. Reverse your warrior, reach up and back. Big breath in, make your way to your knees. We'll take camel pose. Put your hands on your low back, take a big breath. Gently open up the front side body, pull your elbows behind you. Slowly inhale back up. Put your hands on your blocks, step your right foot forward, and then step your left foot forward and stand up. Reach your arms up over your head, look up at your fingers, high mountain pose. Bring your palms to touch at the center of your chest. Pull your right knee to your chest. Put your left hand on your hip and your right hand on your knee. Set your eyes forward to something you can see. And then open that knee out to the right. So you're opening up the hip. Come back to center, airplane pose. Press your foot behind you. Glide your fingertips back. Lift your chest up. Lift your heart two inches higher. And set your foot back down. Nice work. Reach your arms up. Palms touch at the center of your chest. This time put your right hand on your hip. Pull your left knee to your chest and catch your knee with your left hand. Stand up tall. And open your leg out to the left. Keep setting your eyes to something unmoving. We're creating focus with our gaze. And slowly come back to center. Airplane pose. Glide your foot back. Fingertips back. Heart up. Big 
Big breath in, lift a little higher. And set your foot down. Sweep your arms up. Eagle pose, right side. Take your right arm underneath your left arm. Pick your right foot up and cross it over your left thigh. And just start to bend your left knee. Look forward. Squeeze your thighs together. Airplane pose, slowly unravel, pick your knee up, glide your foot back. Lift your heart and set your foot down. All right, let's do it on the other side. Arms reach up. Left arm under for eagle pose. Pick your left knee up, cross it over your thigh, and then bend your right knee. Gaze forward. Coming into airplane pose, unravel. Pick your knee up, slide your foot back. And it's okay if your foot touched the floor. We're just creating a little flow with the breath and the movement. Lift your heart up and set your foot down. Hands touch at the center of your chest. Nice work. Let's take dancer's pose. Put your left hand on your hip and catch your right foot. Now straighten your left arm, reach it in front of you and begin to kick your right foot back. And if you lose your foot, just catch it again. Keep your heart up. Soften your left knee and kick a little bit higher for three, two, one. Set your foot down. Arms reach up. Palms touch at the center. Put your right hand on your hip. This time catch your left foot. And then slowly begin to straighten your arm up and over your head, kick your foot back into your hand, lift your heart high, and soften your standing knee a little bit. Kick and lift a little higher for three, two, and one. Set your foot down. We'll end our balancing with tree pose. Reach your arms up. Palms touch at the center of your chest. Catch your right foot and snuggle it up into either your thigh, your calf, or at your ankle for a kickstand. Put your hands to touch at the center of your chest. Look forward. Stand up tall. And if you teeter, just come back. It's okay to fall. You just got to get back up. One more big breath. Bring everything to the center with control. Release your foot. Sweep your arms up. Palms touch at the center of your chest. And take the left side of tree. You can put your left foot anywhere above or below your knee. Palms touch at the center of your chest, gaze forward. Lift the crown of your head tall, and if you fall, you just come back. One more big breath. Slowly bring your knee forward. Set your foot down. Reach your arms up. Palms touch at the center of your chest. Come into chair pose. Bend your knees. 
reach your arms up. Hover your right foot off the floor, step your foot back, and then put your right knee down, and then bring your left knee back. Now we're back to standing on our knees. We'll take another set of camel pose. Take a big inhale, and gently begin to open up your chest. Come back up. Make your way to your belly. We're coming into locust pose. Sweep your arms behind you, straighten your legs and point your toes, and lift your chest up. Palms face down, shoulder blades draw in. We're here for five, four, three, two, one. Grab your block, put it on the first setting right in front of you, and just rest your forehead on the block. You could put your hands right by your sides. We're going to come back into locust pose. Lift your chest up, peel your arms back, palms face down, shoulder blades in. Try pointing your toes towards the back wall. Big breath in. Place your hands by your sides and just gently rest your forehead on the block. Let everything come down. We're coming into Sphinx Pose next. Set that block aside. Put your forearms in front of you. Fingertips face 12 o'clock. Shoulders and elbows are stacked. Put the tops of your feet on the floor. Press your palms down and lift your chest up like the Sphinx. Set a thousand year gaze. Just look forward. Settle your eyes and breathe. Press your palms down, begin to pick your chest up, and then bend your knees, point your toes, lift your chin up. And put your feet down, bend your elbows, make your way back up to your knees. Take a couple rounds of cat-cow. One more. Make your way to your booty. Put your left foot on the floor. Cross your right ankle over your left knee. You can keep your hands right behind you. Flex your foot. And if you feel like you can take a little more sensation in your hips, you can cradle the baby. Put your left arm around your foot, your right arm around your knee. I like to interlace my hands and then straighten my leg. And just hold your shin towards your chest, but keep that upright, tall chest. Feels good to even rock from side to side a little bit. And if this doesn't feel good, make sure you keep the ankle on the knee. That is a perfectly good pose. Just depends on how much opening you have available to you in your hips today. And then we'll come into a little twist. Cross your left shin underneath your right. Slide your right foot over your left thigh so that your foot is on the floor. Tent your right fingertips behind you, sit up tall. Stretch your left arm up, take a big breath in. And hook your elbow over your knee and begin to look 
past your right shoulder behind you. Big breath in and slowly come back to center. Put your feet on the floor and just pat your thighs into the mat. Now put your right foot on the floor, cross your left ankle over your right knee. And it's perfectly good to just stay right here. This is a great way to open up your hips. And if you feel like you can take a little more, you can cradle the baby. Put your right arm around your foot, your left arm around your knee, hold your shin close to your body, and maybe even straighten your right leg. Just depends on what's possible for you on this side of your body. Don't go any further than your breath can take you. Slide your foot back if you straightened your leg. Cross your right shin underneath your left. Slide your left foot to the right side of your left, to your right thigh. Tent your left fingertips behind you. Reach your right arm up. And then hook your elbow over your knee. And this time begin to twist and look over your left shoulder. Take a big breath in and slowly make your way back to the center. This time open your legs wide into a V. Put your fingertips in front of you and just gently begin to lean forward. If you like it, you can put a block right in front of you on the tallest setting and rest your forehead on the block. And if this creates any pressure in your eyes, then straighten your arms and stay lifted. Remember the whole purpose of this class, no inversions. One of the things I love about yoga is that if there's something we cannot do, then we can focus our energy on what we can do. And slowly begin to make your way back up. Set the block aside if you have one. Bring your legs back to touch. Put your feet on the floor and make your way to your back. Touch the soles of your feet together. We'll come back to supine butterfly. Place your hands on your belly. Close your eyes. Breathe in and out of your nose. Open your arms into a T, pull your knees to your chest, roll your knees to the right, turn your gaze to the left for a final simple twist. Come back to the center, drop your knees to the left, turn your gaze to the right.
Bring your knees back to center. Straighten your legs. Come into Shavasana. Allow your toes to flop out towards the sides. Lift up your shoulders, slide your shoulder blades underneath you, and allow your palms to naturally rest up towards the ceiling. Close your eyes if that's comfortable. And let yourself be still. Just rest. Take a long, full, deep breath in and empty it. Take a full body stretch, reach your arms behind you, point your toes, lengthen your body. Curl your knees up to your chest. Roll over to a comfortable side. Use your arm under your ear as a pillow. And gently make your way up to a seat. Bring your palms to touch at the center of your chest. Close your eyes for a moment if that's comfortable. And just notice how you feel. Pull your palms to touch at the center of your chest, sorry, the center of your forehead. And gently bow your head towards your heart. In honor of you, and me in this practice that we share, I bow to you and say namaste. I hope you enjoyed this flow. Please join me again. See you next time.